Hi everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to make this red Pikmin with the leaf. I'll be using these exact colors and uh, to let you know there is about 145 to 148 red bands and uh, there are 32 green bands, two black bands for the eyes and two white bands for the eyes. I'm going to use one loom and show you how to attach the body parts. Your loom is going to be in its original position with the arrows facing down. So I'm going to get started and I'm going to start with the arms. I'm going to show you how to do one and then you're going to pause the video and make another one. So using double bands, I'm just going to go down on the right seven times. So that's two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Taking a single band, I'm just going to cap three times. One, two, and three. And now reaching in, we're just going to loop straight up. So just in and make teardrops all the way to the top. And remove. And I'm just going to put it on the end of my loom for my two arms and my two legs. And now you can pause the video and make another one. Now I'll be showing you how to do the legs. I will do two with you. So using double bands, we're just going to go down the loom on the right four times. So that's two, three, and four. Going down in the middle four times. One, two, three, and four. Now taking double bands, we're just going to close it off from the middle to the right. Now going down on the right three times. One, two, and three. Now taking a single band, we're going to cap the end three times. One, two, and three. Now we're ready to loop. So we're going to loop up this area just straight. And when we get to here, we're going to crisscross, which I'll show you how. So reaching in, my cap band came off. So you might want to just hold your cap band down. And up one more time. Now reaching in, grabbing your top two bands, and they're going to the middle. Reaching back in, instead of going straight, you're going to cross over to the fourth peg going down in the middle. Reaching in, and cross over to the right. Reaching in, and cross over up to the top third peg going down in the middle. Reaching in, and go to the right. Reaching in, going to the second peg, going down in the middle. Reaching in, and cross over to the right. The last two bands, we're going to just loop straight up, and this one straight up. Now we're going to remove off the loom. So reach in on the right, reach in on the middle, and this is what the leg should be looking like. And the tricky part is, is to, I'm going to, if you have extra hooks, that's great. Or you can just give it a little stretch and put it at the end of your loom and save it for when we're ready to use it. We're going to do it again using double bands going down on the right four times. One, two, three, and four. Now in the middle, one, two, three, 
and four. Double bands, we're gonna close off. And now give it a little push down and go down three times on the right. Two, and one more, three. Taking a single cap band, we're gonna cap, cap three times. One, two, and three. And now reach in, grabbing your bands, hold your cap band down, and loop up one more time. Reach in, grabbing your top two, and bring it to the middle. Reach in, and bring it to the fourth peg going down in the middle. Reach in, and go to the right. Reach in, and go to the third peg going down in the middle. Reach in in the middle, and go to the right. Reach in, bringing it up to the second peg. Reach in, and go to your right. Reach in, and just go up. And again, taking it off. Here's your other foot. Just gonna put every, all the loops straight and attach it to the end of my loom. So now I'm gonna show you how to do the body. And I'm gonna be using double bands and starting at the top from the left up to the middle. On the other side, middle to the right. Now going down the loom on the right three times. One, two, and three. On the left, one, two, and three. I want to close off this area, so bringing it from the left down to the middle and middle to the right. Closing off my middle section, double bands. We're just going to go to the end here. And now you want to just push down these bands and we're going to start to do the bottom of the body. Using double bands, we're not going to give it a neck. We're going to go from the left to the center. And center to right. Now going down, the same, the way it looks up here, we're going to do the same thing down here. So going down on the right three times. One, two, and three. On the left, going down three times. One, two, and three. Push down. Closing off this area, we're going to go from the left down to the center and center to right. We want to close off the middle. So just make sure that all the bands are nice and neat. So one, two, three, and one more. Push down. So now I'm going to show you where to put one single holding band and it's going to be an upside down triangle from the top, at the top. Now I'm going to do my eyes. So I'm going to use two white bands and two black bands. I didn't get my white band, sorry. And now taking your hook, I'm going to wrap the black band around my hook three times. One, two, and three. Taking a single white, I'm gonna wrap it twice on this side and then twice on the other side. One, two, one, and two. That's one eye, the other again. One, two, and three. 
taking a single white, one, two, and then twice on the other side. Taking a red band, we're going to slide these on. And we're going to attach these on the second peg going down on the right and to the left, the second pegs. I'm just going to use my hook and separate the eyes to bring them on either side. Now continuing with the holding bands, I'm going to make a triangle below the eyes and one more. In this area, another triangle another triangle, and one more. So now I'm just going to push down these bands in this area, and we can attach our arms now. So just reach in, grabbing an arm, and we're going to attach it to the shoulder area, so which is your fifth peg going down. One, two, three, four, and five. Grabbing my other arm, and now the tricky part for the legs. We're going to grab our leg, and you'll notice that you have eight rings on the top of your hook. The first four are going to go on your left bottom here, and the other four loops are going to go to your middle. So you just want to slide those on, holding your other four, oops, and the other four. And so to make sure it doesn't fall off, I'm just going to stretch my leg over to the bottom pin here. And just grabbing your other leg, I'm just going to turn my loom around, and we're going to do the same thing. The first four loops are going to go in the center, and the other four loops are going to go to the right. So you might just want to push these bands down gently. You don't want to bunch them up. And on the right. Again, I'm going to stretch on this side and this is what your body should look like. So now we're ready to loop. So I'm just gonna reach in in the center, moving my leg bands out of the way, and grabbing the top two bands that are going to the center. Reach back in, grabbing the top two bands, and they're going to the right. Reaching in and grabbing the bands, and they're going to the left. Now I'm just gonna loop up the right, and we're just gonna loop right up to that neck area. So reaching in, moving my armbands out of the way, oops, and on the left. Reaching in. Now finishing off the middle, So now we're going to do this area, but just so you know, we're going to end up sliding this band on, wrapped around our hook three times, when we loop and we're going to slide that on here for a nose band. So I'll show you how to do that in a minute. So reaching in, grabbing your top two bands that are going to the center, the next two bands, moving all your bands away and grabbing the top two that are going to the right. Reaching in and grabbing the other two that are going to the left. Now we're just going to loop up the right side. All the way to the top. And on the left.
Now finishing off the middle, but this is the part we're going to put the nose on. So taking a single band, we're going to wrap it around three times. One, two, and three. And grab your bands and just slide them on. Now finishing off. Now this part is tricky. When I originally did this design, I didn't put a nose. I just kind of like the look of this one better. So what uh, we are going to do now is instead of doing a slip knot here, we're going to attach it on bands. So I, which would be the start of this area, which I did um, a single band wrapped once. So like doubling it. Or you can try using double bands or a single band without doubling it, um, but you're just not going to do a slip knot. So what I'm going to do is just wrap it around my hook twice, stretch it, reach in, and grabbing the band and bringing it up. Now it's ready to remove. I'm not pulling with the bands, I'm just pulling with my hand, or you can just be gentle. <laughs> and of course, we're neat, we need to put them to the side. I'm going to show you how to do the leaf now, and how to attach. So using our green bands, we're going to use double. And we're going to stretch from the second peg going down on your left to your top middle. And the exact same thing on the other side. Taking double bands, we're going to go in the middle. We're going to go down again. So far you should have it like this. Now taking a single band, we're going to go from the middle to the right with a push down. And on the other side, the left to the middle, and pushing down the bands. Taking double bands on the right. Okay, sorry about that. Now where was I? Double bands here on the right, and then double bands on the left. Taking double bands in the middle, and now single band we're going to go from the middle up to the right. And a single band from your middle to your up to your left. Double bands on your right and double bands on your left. Double bands on in the middle. And we're almost done the leaf. So taking a single band, we're going to go from the middle up to the right and a slight push down. A single band in the middle up to the left. Now taking double bands, we are going to go from the middle and stretch it up to the right. So that is one, two, three, four, five, and your six peg down. Taking double bands, we're going to do the same thing on the left to close off the leaf. Now we have this gap here in the middle, so taking double bands, we're just going to close it off. Now a single band, we're going to cap one, two, and three. So now we're going to use red bands for the stem area and we're going to double the bands oops and place it on oh I'm, I'm very sorry if you want to remove that cap band I apologize we don't need a cap band there I'm very sorry so just like that now you can do this on your hook one and two 
which I like to prefer doing in the middle. A little bit easier, but I'm just going to do it by hand. And we're going to go all the way to the bottom. So just crisscross and loop like that, like cross it over, just doubling a single band. You can make this area shorter with just a couple, like minusing a couple of these bands. I just think it's a little bit hard to attach the body. So removing your body, like attaching a body in the center, like it's just a little bit more complicated. So attach your body at the end, and now we're ready to loop up. So reaching in, reaching in, and loop up the red. So now we're at the leaf area. So we're going to just reach in grabbing our top two bands and bring them to the center. Our next two bands are going to the left and our next two bands are going to the right. We're going to reach in the center grabbing our single band and it's going to the left. Reach in grabbing our next single band to the right. Reach back in and go to the center. Reaching in on our right, we're going to go up one, and on our left, go up one. Back to the center, grabbing our single band, and go to the left. Our next single band is going to the right. Reaching in on the right, and go up one. Reaching in on the left, go up one. Reaching in in the center, go up one. In the center, we're going to go to the left with our single band. Reach in, grabbing the next single band to your right. Reach in and go up one in the middle. On the right side, we're going to reach in, moving these bands out of the way and grabbing our double bands and go up to the center. Reaching in on the left, go up to the center and finishing off our leaf in the center, up. Now taking a single band, I'm going to use green and do a slip knot at the top of the leaf. So reaching in, grabbing a single band and sliding it on top, giving it a slight pull. Now it's done and it's ready to come off. So I'm just going to hide the slip knot, so I'm going to turn it around and reach in through the middle and pull it through. And now I'm just going to give the form, oh I lost my slip knot, sorry, um, reach back in, grabbing my band and bringing it in. And I was just trying to make the form of the leaf. And to emphasize these single bands, I'm just going to grab them and pull them up. Those single bands that we were going to the left and the right. And now fixing the eyes. If they're twisted like that, just keep turning it around. And then it should be, should be fine. I'm just going to pull one of these bands back. And he's done. 
I hope you enjoyed Looming with Cheryl, and uh, I hope you like this design. Please subscribe down at the bottom. I have a lot more designs to load, and uh, I'll see you next time with another. Thanks for watching. Bye.